So I had a few friends from from older days in JC that told me about it, and then a lot of my friends in my class now were talking about it. So that I heard about it over that, and we all decided to come here. Uh, basically, my dad works for NCSY. He's worked there for like 10 years. Had an NCSY uh, brochure that just had camp sports in it, and we read it. And so that's basically how I heard it. So last year, like about a week before camp started, um, I didn't have any plans for first half, and so it's only about this place. So I signed up, and they let me come. My first day at camp sports, I get off. I get off the bus, and I see someone. I see someone walking around. I started smiling because it's someone I recognize. It's someone who I knew from home, from what Sam said. I go by, he's smiling at me too. I think, oh, it's this guy. And then I realize it's not him at all. He's just an advisor, being friendly. And that's what Camp Sports is all about. Everyone, it's like I've known them my entire life. It's just that, it's like, when I came here, I knew no one. And within, within a few days, it's like they've known me. And I know them. We're just all such, such great friends, such a great environment. I love it so much. I'm Leo Lisker. I live in the Five Towns in Cedarhurst. I'm going into 10th grade. I love it here. Everyone here is so nice and like sports is amazing, tricks are amazing. And so like I just love it here and I want to come back. One of the things I did not expect to be doing this summer that I'm doing a lot more is learning in the base like, late at night. I'm, I'm in the base sometimes until like 12 in the morning and I'm just learning Mishnayas something colo with the colo kids there with an advisor and I did nothing that I ever spend my free time learning. Uh, outside of learning, usually when I'm just around different people uh, and they just want to ask if they want to tell me something that I didn't know before, then I'll say yeah sure I'm gonna learn for like a couple minutes. Like today I like Grossberg just saw me and he was like hey you wanna kind of teach you something I'm like sure I'm just learning for like a few minutes. Princes among men in the service of Hashem. It's a bond that never ends, no. And thank God for that. I was sitting and learning with Eitan Khan and Joseph Fink. And Eitan said to me, it sounds like a tzitzis moment. So I went, I got tzitzis. Then like a half hour later, I went to dinner. Rabbi Zucker told me that if I were tzitzis every day for the rest of the camp, he'd give me a barbecue, which happened last night. And then we ended up bringing in more kids who joined us, and I think there were about 30 kids there. Tzitzit Chavura. Ah, the Tzitzit Chavura. In between the learning groups, we meet up in the back of the shul, and we have like, one kid gives us our Torah, and then we have the raffles, and then we all go. We talk about what Tzitzit means. People give the our Torah. We had Shabbos of four. And we got every single kid to put on Tzitzis. We asked them, and they all came through. Yeah, I think like the variety of sports is really cool. Because like, usually sometimes you'll see like camps they offer usually like they'll play like basketball or they'll play like two sports usually. At camp sports we have I think about five sports. The thing that I was most concerned about was how intense the leagues were. Gonna be. I didn't know if people were really gonna like show up to leagues always. People were gonna care how passionate my team was gonna be. I ended up on the Cooper Trooper. It's a pretty passionate team. I have played ultimate before, but never at the intensity and like the way that we play played here at Camp Sports. Because you know, usually we play with like uh, you know like five guys, maybe five on each side. You know, something something small like that. Here we're playing about 13, 12 guys on. 12 on 12, 13 on 13 games. Everyone's always playing, everyone's always included. There's no reason to miss on a sport because you know that you can make an impact. It was really cool though, because it was like, it was something completely new, which was really awesome and really fun to, uh, to experience.
Nakama Palace team in Frisbee. And before, before every game, we have a chant. And usually Ben Spandrew says a little something to our team to inspire us. And so before that game, I told him, I want to say something. I want to rally the team. Because we had gone through like four losses before. I'm like, this could be it. I think this is the one. This is where we're going to get our first win. And so he said, sure, I love that. So in the game, I just remember like before in our circle, I told everyone, you know, we're gonna put our hardest. We're gonna try, like we're 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 undefeated. We're gonna beat them, and everyone was just listening. To me. Everyone was just silent, and it was just so cool to finally be a leader in camp. I've never felt like that before, really. We uh, started off not not too great. I remember our first win was our fourth game of the year, playing basketball. I just remember at the end of the game, all of us come together. It's really really setting the same tone for the season one. So many more games after that. There's definitely a big difference from this year versus last year. Last year, I think that we had like six wins, four wins, I forgot what it was. And this year we had, I think it was like 17, 18. So it was definitely a big difference, but it's just a ton of fun. Like you're with your friends, you're trying to win. It's very competitive, which I love. And like you guys are like on the field, you're not friends. But like right when you're off the field, even during halftime, like you go over, give each other a hug. It's very nice and competitive after the game. Like you go back to the whatever. Uh, if you're coming to camp sports, number one piece of advice, get one of those mini water coolers. Cause you know, like it gets really hot in Baltimore. And also just go out there and have some fun. The trips were it was really awesome. The first trip we went on, it was just so much fun. I think it was Guppy Gulch was our first trip. Like a lot of the trips were the same as last year. But like I love the trips. They're all so good. Um first trip of the year was Guppy Gulch. I was so excited. I, about a month before camp I saw pictures from there. I just, it just brought back the memories. It might have been the greatest trip I've ever been on. The uh, the what's called the UFOs. They're so much fun trying to knock each other over and like it's so dangerous but it's still so much fun. We went to Washington and it was it was really amazing. We got freedom there. They drop us off, off the bus and the Red Green says, Okay, be back by I think it was like five ten or something. We rode on Washington. We went to electric scooters, me and Tom, my friends, we went around, we went to Washington Monument, we, you know, Washington is beautiful, we went to like, museums, we saw them, we went to like water, we just looked at the water, we drove past that, and then for me, I wore a onesie to the game, I wore a Mike Wazowski onesie, and um, yeah, I got on the Jumbotron for a second, we got a lot of attention from the fans, it was great. After the DC United game, which was really a, it was really a fun experience, because like I mean the game was pretty pretty cool, you know like uh, DC was down one nothing, tied it, they were down two one, and the, like, an extra time of the in the second half they, they tied the game. But no, it was it was packed. There was tons of people there, and like I was honestly really shocked. Hey, Paul, adrenaline when you're like shooting that gun, like that's so powerful. Just good bonding with people. Hershey, I went with a bunch of friends, and we just we went on a lot of rides. They're all so good. I don't, I don't think that rides are that scary. Like I just think that they're crazy, and it's, it's just a great time. First time they brought out Big Tony on Shabbos, I I just started dying of laughter. I was like, okay, they're bringing out a giant ninja turtle, you know, like okay, eating the Kool Aid pickle. Kool Aid pickle, as I've come to believe. Is it pickle, but instead of pickle juice, it is Kool-Aid. So they were going around offering Kool-Aid pickles. I get Kool-Aid pickle, it was a cherry flavored red pickle. I have it. And it, it was a, it was okay. It's not that bad. Someone won Kool-Aid pickles in one of our many raffles, our many incentivized raffles. I didn't even eat I did have one though, I just remember I did have one. I had the cherry one. I did things that I didn't think I could do. Whether it was giving the bar Torah or getting brachas from a rabbi or even leading the champ for my team, it was the most fun I've ever had. But to be honest, I think camp sports is one of the most unique summer experiences you can have that, like, that NCSY offers. I mean, I don't think there's a single NCSY program where there are daily raffles every day with Rabbi Gilsberger giving away uh, Dunkin' Donuts or gift cards. 
or a 7-Eleven where you have Rebame with the antics like uh, Rub Zucker and uh, Rub like Green and everything. Or even where like in the mid, like on a trip, we all stop somewhere and have Akiva Fink pull out a barbecue from the back of his, from the back of his car and just start grilling in the middle of the park.